I thought DeAndre Hopkins is the best receiver in football, and he didn't have the right circumstance in which to prove it. Lewis, just how dynamic a duo could he and Kyler Murray be in Arizona? That's what I meant when I said no quarterback had a better offseason than Murray did. How good could they be? Well, they can be fantastic, Greeny. Look, I think what he gives them now is he gives them a true, legit outside outside lane X Z wide receiver, the kind of guy who, in one on one coverage, outside the numbers, will be able to win down the field and be able to come up with those tough, contested, game changing type plays over and over again. And that's really what they need. That's what Kyler needed. Look, Larry Fitzgerald is a surefire Hall of Famer, one of the greatest wide receivers ever to play the game, but he really is an inside player now that doesn't have that vertical stretch on the out on the outside they need somebody to go along with him Christian Kirk is a guy who's a combination inside outside player but he's not someone who's as good as DeAndre Hopkins now when they have DeAndre and they add him to that and they got Kendrick Kendrick Drake running the football and with Kyler's ability to both beat you both in the pocket and outside the pocket as far as throwing on the move changing launch points because of how athletic he is it's really the perfect thing that they needed from a weaponry standpoint but here's the thing that's going to make it all go they better make sure that the offensive line is good to go, particularly at the offensive tackle positions, so Kyler is not running for his life. If they can do that, the offense is going to be dynamic. Fix the defense, and maybe they can go ahead and make some noise in the NFC West. Rob Nikovich, what do you expect from that combination in particular and from that team in general? I think they're going to be explosive. I think that they're one of the best teams that have a chance to win their division next year with the things that they have done in the offseason. Look, Kyler Murray... He's going to be incredible in the second year. And his rookie season, I was impressed with his ability to get out of the pocket, to move, the speed that he has. I would say this, though. The one thing that Hopkins is going to have to realize is when he's playing with a quarterback that can move like this, if you play with a Drew Brees or a Matt Ryan or a Tom Brady, you run your route and you know, hey, I'm getting the ball in this play because this is exactly specifically set up for me to get the football. When you're playing with a quarterback that can scramble, get out of the pocket, there might be broken plays. There might be a play where you're going to run the route, and look, it's not there. you got to block. So that is the only difference that he's going to have to realize moving with a quarterback that can move around, get out of the pocket, scramble, and throw. It's not going to be as, as simple as Drew Brees, I'm running my route. This is where I'm at. Michael Thomas, he's a great route runner. Um, he's had a lot of production because he knows every time he's running a route, the ball's coming. So when you're playing with a mobile quarterback, that's not going to be the case. There's going to be Broken plays where you just got to improvise and kind of play backyard football. Can that be explosive? Of course. We've seen it a bunch. But, you know, we'll see moving forward. I think the Arizona Cardinals have done a great job this offseason, and they're going to be one of the better teams um, of improvement from last year to this year, I think. I'm thinking about Field Yates telling me that you could make an argument that the number four quarterback in fantasy this coming season could be Kyler Murray with all the things that he's going to wind up doing. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.